So welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Last time, we witnessed the sad death of our uncle, very similar to how our father and two brothers died. Well, not similar, but still sad nonetheless. And the destruction of Monterigione. Along with that, we returned to Monterigione in the present. And now we are searching through the little catacombs here, leading into the sanctuary. So let's go do that. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. Yeah, that might be helpful. And also, this time, at least we're back in the sanctuary and all these, uh, freaking seals I had to go and unlock in the first game, but, eh. Because you can't do anything about it. It's all long gone after this. Because all the armor has been destroyed at this point, thanks to cannonballs. So much for training. And Desmond also has eagle vision. He There's is a here. descendant after all. Can you open uh, uh, shut up, Sean. Screw you. I was getting to it. You guys did it. About bloody time. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. <sighs> Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Okay, everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town, and make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. Such an ass. And that is Sean's character, after all. I actually like Sean. Sean's a lot more funny in this one, too. He's kind of a prick in the first one, but, you know, in Brotherhood, he's a lot better. I actually do like Sean a lot. But, uh, yeah, one of the main mechanics of being Desmond in this game is you still get to explore around Monterigione in the present, so... Up, up th thanks, Desmond. Right, look around Monterigione for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. Fair enough. So, yeah. Equal Vision tells you exactly where all of these routers are. I actually don't remember where all the locations are, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> yes. Insert random doodad in the middle of a box. And uh, for some reason, it works. So yeah. Now, there will be times where we will exit the Animus to go and collect things around Monterigione. There are little collectibles here you can go and grab. I don't think they're available at this moment because, well... It's kind of an easy way for the game to just let you have them right now, so they're not going to let us have them. Besides, this is kind of teaching us that, hey, we can go to Monterigione whenever we want as Desmond, which I like a lot. You didn't really have any purpose going outside of the Animus in 2, so at least in this, it's kind of nice. Uh, I thought the high ground was going to be good to look around for uh, boxes, but I guess not. I honestly do not remember where all the locations for these are. I mean, if it glows, then you're good. But I guess we'll just keep looking around. 
Uh, actually, I could just follow the cables. Yeah, there you go. Cables to our box. There's number two. Boink. And also, when Desmond grabbed his head there, how did he not stab himself in the face? Just saying. Seems kind of like a dumb way to die. <laughs> eh, whatever. Also, nice of him to in install electricity in this place. Uh, there's another one right there. Okay. Good thing I looked with my eyes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know where I was going with that. Yoinky Splinky. One more to go. Which is gonna be great, because I have no idea where in the hell it is, so... This is gonna be fun. It shouldn't be too bad. Up, oh, I already see it. Okay, just... Just jump on that moped and run on over towards where these go. Uh, can I... Okay, no. I can hop on this and climb up. There we go. Using my brain. Yeah, this is the only one that's, like, up here for some reason. Bonk. All four in place. Now we can play video games. I'm back. Just in time. The sun's rising. Yes! It's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Work, Alex. Let's get started. And we, I think we get a chance to just talk with everybody here real quick. Do you have any clue about those numbers under the drawing? 1419, 1420, 1421. Maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War. Or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo. And in 1421... Um... In 1421, yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. Well, something with a Duomo. So, where do you think of Monte Regione? This is not Monte Regione. Monte Regione existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence, and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. I like history, though. You don't say anything more, do you? No, okay. Lucy, what you got to say? What are we gonna do about Abstergo? Wait it out. As soon as we find the Apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe, but as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. It'd be nice to have some help from above. Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the US, China, and Russia, but there are no clear leads yet. Okay. Second piece of dialogue. What are the other teams doing? Combating Abstergo's search for pieces of Eden. As far as I know, Abstergo has no clue about the temples and Ezio's apple. We might actually be ahead for once. That's good news. Uh, last but not least, Rebecca. You seem focused. I've been busy patching new systems into Baby here. She's only gonna get better. Is Desmond gonna be able to relive memories this time? Matter of fact, he will. Relive memories? Always a tech geek? Nah, I was into sports, but then I broke my leg and started playing with computers. Who knew the coding could be just as exhilarating as strapping on a board and dropping out of a helicopter? Just FYI, you might want to get your adrenal glands checked. You know? Because that... that is not normal. What would you know about normal? Now, I'm not gonna constantly come out of the Animus to go and talk to these three over and over and over again. I, what I probably will do is after each sequence, I'll pop out of here and do some dialogue and explore around, but for the most part, we're going to be spending most of our time in the Animus. So let's hop on in. Let's go back to Italy. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. 
Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. Uh, why? Up. Okay, thanks. Short kill streak. In 45 seconds, get the longest kill streak possible. Cool. This is just teaching you that you can get a really long kill streak. All right, bros. Hello. Somebody trying to stab me. Up. Uh, okay, do it again. Bonk. And yeah, this is just teaching you that you can get a really long kill. Okay, come on, do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I got grabbed. Are you kidding me? I would have had more than that. The jackass didn't grab me. Eh, whatever. Just keep murdering. Ow. Chill, bro. Ow. Yeah, harder and harder enemies just keep popping up, so. Kill streak in this game is really overpowered. That was easy. You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Okay. So select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just wanna forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Sounds good. Desmond, I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes? Si, Messere. Welcome to Roma, our new playground. Roma. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the Mausoleo. Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. A wilderness of tigers. So what Rebecca was saying there, we can go and freely choose whatever missions we could do now. And you can see the full synchronization thing. Now, if there is a full sync side thing we want to try to do, I will try to do it. But do not expect me... Can I not hop this? I have to take the stairs. Okay. Yeah, do not expect me to, to go out of my there. way to do some of these. I will do the best I can on them, but I am not going to strain myself to go and do them. They're not really required to beat the game, and I am not doing a full 100% of this. Like, I will do 100% of a lot of stuff, but not the synchronization stuff. That is stupid, so... 
At least, in my opinion, I don't see a big reason to do oh that, but... God. Yeah, we gotta go and talk to the doctor, because the doctor is important. We have no money. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? I have ground mollusk and fox... Well, we got some restoration. Doctors are your healers. You can also buy medicine from them, but we have no money. So, uh, yeah, do not spam your medicine right now. He give you five for free. I would just would not touch those. But now we can freely run. Someone my age. Imbecile. <laughs> yeah, really. Imbecile I'm gonna start using from now on. Uh, oh, money! <laughs> I like money! Mr. Krabs moment. Uh, yes. Uh, terracotta pot. There's a lot of things regarding money in this. Yeah, you are old, Ezio. And, uh, yeah, just don't, uh, attract the guard here, because we want to try to keep our full sink. If you are going for a full 100%, like all the trophies and stuff, you will have to worry about the full sinks, but I'm not going to do that. This is a, well, for my opinion, a 100% that most people can do, at least to get the most amount of enjoyment from the game. So, let's get our first viewpoint. Very nice to have back. God, is bring back memories from when we did Assassin's Creed 2. One of 24. That is the total amount of viewpoints in the entire game. There's not like a hundred of them like there is in 2. So, you can look on the map too. That, this is a pretty big map, but it is the only map. You can't really go back to Monterey or Viana. I don't know why Viana is even there, but... Also, if I pronounce things wrong, I do apologize. I am not Italian. So, there is that. Leap of faith! Word has gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Machiavelli can wait. Tail the guards. That's pretty easy. Even though we're in full white clothing, that is very obvious. Like, seriously, how does nobody just look at us and go, Assassino! Yeah, I I don't get it either. You do ret uh, retain a lot of your uh, stealth abilities from the first game, such as blending in with crowds. They did make it a little better where, uh, we'll see later, where if there is a crowd of people walking around, you will automatically walk with them. You won't have to try to keep pace with them. Thank God. That was such an annoyance from 2. But also, the way the tailing works, you could see... Uh, oh, it's not doing it. Okay. If they go off screen, you'll have a timer going down and that will desync you and you have to restart. But again, as long as they're on screen, you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't really matter about distance. It matters about if you can actually see them. Uh, maintain distance. Yeah. The game will give you many warnings in case if you're too close or too far. So, there you go. Also, Roma is so cool. I love... Well, I'm... I keep calling it Roma, but it's Rome, but it is such a beautiful area. I love walking through this place, and it's very accurate to how Rome looked like. And yeah, you have the detection meter. Detection is the same way it works in the second game, so I'm kind of just explaining this as assuming that people have played 2 before this, but you don't need to play 2 to understand Brotherhood, but it is a lot better if you do play 2, because there's a lot of things they refer back to, so... I would recommend playing 2 before you play Brotherhood, or at least watching 2 before you watch this LP or anything like that, so... Just keep that in mind. But, uh, man, these guys- where are we going? Jesus! Like, we're walking throughout the entirety of town, jeez, dude. Um, and you're pushing the peasants aside. Kinda rude. Gentle push. <laughs> yeah, the gentle push returns. It's great. Gentle push is easily one of the best mechanics of these games. Man, these guys are going real far. Like, really freaking far. It's taking like five minutes just to get over there. I'm not that close, game. Chill. Jeez. 
And we are kind of stuck at a slow point right now, but the game will pick up very quickly, so. Uh, okay, now we go and murder. Kill the guards! Okay, yoink. Also, we are limited to one hidden blade, so be careful. I actually recommend going to a sword here. Alright, there's one. There's two. Three. Oh, no. Ah, oh, my health square. No. There we go. Kill you. And you. Yeah, there goes the seat. I don't care. Well, so much for the sink. Eh, whatever. Like I said, it's not going to matter. Let's go talk to this guy. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the road. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. <laughs> oh, that does sound fun. And kill the target with a hidden blade. That is my preferred method. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Carnifice, you are on my hit list. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Also, I probably could've, I could have just healed if I, <laughs> I, I probably could have just healed to get around the full sink thing, but whatever. Again, I'm not gonna care about that. There's no point to it. So, but I will go after it because it's fun, and you know, if I fail it, I fail it. It's whatever. So I'm gonna try to play a little sneakily here. Uh, and those will probably be the last mission we do. Assassinate Il Carnifice. Oh, hello, friend. None of your guards see me because they are blind. Yeah? Hi. Die. Requiescat in pace. I shall put my hands through your nose. Strike. I am a secretly a ghost. Alright, run away! I am not fighting these dudes, I don't think it really matters. Plus, it's really easy to run away from these guys, so, uh... Later, stinky! Uh-oh. Oh, I'm glad I grabbed that. I do not want to be seen by the guards here. Oh, hello. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna escape them, it's not that hard to do. I want this, uh, treasure, though. There's treasure boxes throughout the entire city. Uh, did they, did they really chase me all the way over here? No shot. Wow, they chased me on the rooftops. Okay, that's different. I didn't think they would actually chase me all the way out here. Okay, later, friends. I have no business with you. Uh, yeah, just stay up top here. And, yeah, you see these, uh, flags. These are collectibles. I am not going for all the Borgia flags. Screw that. That is pointless. And we get some money. There we go. At least we got the full sync for once. <laughs> now, like Rebecca said, you can go and replay missions in case you messed it up and didn't get the full synchronization, so don't worry about that too much. But it's actually good. What is happening to you? Uh, okay, sir, how did you get a horse? Whoa. Okay, sir. Wh okay, look, you got to go around or, like, turn to go down the steps or something. Your horse does not agree with it. What is he doing? Are you okay, sir? Yeah, you know, I'll just I'll just leave you be. Oh god, up! Uh, that is not what I meant to do. Welp, that's just peachy. Run away! <laughs> Damn it! That is not what I meant to do. I was ho ow. Okay, this is just okay. I pissed off the entirety of the army. All right, later, friends. I have no business with you. I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah, you don't want to really piss off the guards here, because there are a ton of them, so... We'll just keep running. Get some cool music with it. All right, I should be good. They do remember your last known location, so... That's why I'm trying to turn around here, so I can get away. Okay, thank God. We don't have notoriety yet, so we don't need to worry about that. 
Okay. After that, <laughs> monstrosity. Hello, women. But <laughs> or oh, that's just one woman. That I mean, that dude kind of looks like a woman, but whatever. I'm gonna end things off there before we get into more trouble with the Borgia. So, <laughs> um, next time on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I guess we'll go chat up Machiavelli over there. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.